Welcome to another episode of BeerAmerica.tv. Paul Leone with... John Pinkerton. John Pinkerton, uh, who's hanging out. You know, we think this is uh, working really well, and I'm glad John's taking part in all this, and we're going to continue this because I think it really works. So, so far, um, so good. So far, so good. So let me ask you a question. What do you think the theme is? Mm, I don't know. Baseball? Uh... Pumpkins. We're doing pumpkins. It's October. And uh, if you go to the beer store, you're going to find so many pumpkin ales out there, uh, you know, much more than I, than I thought even a few years ago. I don't know about you, but it seems to be in kind of a, a trend that's growing. It's definitely uh, picked up a bit. Pumpkin it, love. Pumpkin love. Yes. Spreading. And, and who knew pumpkin would work in beer? But you know, it does, I think. And there's a lot of different varieties and styles. And we're going to do we're going to do a bunch. We're going to try to do. Uh, I've got several over the next few days and few weeks that John and I are going to are going to sample and recommend to you. And so the first one I have today is a Harvest Moon Pumpkin Ale uh, from Blue Moon uh, Brewing Company. Blue Moon, there Blue we Moon. go. Yeah, Blue Moon does Blue Moon does a lot of good things, and, and I, I think that... Um, I've I only thought, tried their whipped beer. Well, now you get to try the pumpkin beer. All right, I'm looking and, forward to it. Yeah, and I, and I thought this was interesting. Um, I had tried this before, and uh, I thought it was really interesting. I thought it was good. So, you know, I, I, wanna, I want you to give... Oh, and by the way, we're back to the beaker. So we're not yes. drinking, we are... Tasting. 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 All right. So uh, let's give this a taste. And, I, and you have not had this before, so this is a good thing because I don't tell John, and I've said this before, the beers that I bring. I just bring them, and this is not scripted or anything. So we just go for it because that's what you do at home when you try a beer for the first time. So Is that like red red? It's kind of a copper color. It's got a nice copper color to it. It's, it's a beautiful color. I'm not sure how they get it, that red. That's, that's amazing. Let me give it a little taste here. Not crazy spicy in the nose. I was kind of expecting it to be super duper. No, but you know what? What I taste and what I just smelled are two different things. And I don't know if you'll get the same thing, but it's kind of in the middle of the road oh, yeah. between sweet and spicy. You know, it's sort of right in the middle of the road. And it's a little clovey. It's a little clovey. That's what I... Yeah, gingerbread. Gingerbread. Yeah. Like, almost, okay. almost more gingerbread than, uh, than pumpkin. But it's that's nice. It's, it's, it's not uh, whacking you over the head, really. Right. Yeah. Um, I, ha I mean, I've, I've tasted some pumpkin beers that were way spicier. Um, and I, I, I have to, for full, full disclosure, I have to say that uh, I don't really like spice, spicy beers, uh, or at least in this particular vein. I mean, I love wit beer. That's a spice beer, but it's kind of a different ball, ball, ball game. But uh, the whole pumpkin pie thing in my beer, generally, I, it's not something I'm, I'm reaching for. Yeah. But uh, this, it, this is nice. This is nice. I'm, but what I don't taste in this beer is like an like an overpowering pumpkin, like you said, pumpkin pie taste. It's very unique in the way that it's got. It's a little spicy, but not. It's it's a good combination, I think, of both. And, and it seems like it would go um, good with a lot of kind of the seasonal foods, right? I mean, you know, if you go to their website, it says it's uh, it's good with turkey, sweet potatoes, and beef, and it seems oh, yeah. like it would it would blend well with that. I could see that, and um. I mean, I think the, the important thing here is that there's a subtlety of spice mm -hmm. and there's a good foundation of this nice bready, uh, um, it's not overly malty, it's not, it doesn't have m much of a malt signature, uh, but there is that nice sort of big fat, like almost like bread pudding kind of, kind of character there. Don't pumpkin ales traditionally have kind of maltiness flavored, bring out the sweetness? Yeah, I think so. I mean, uh, I mean you're kind of, you're talking about something that's, often one and the same. Mm -hmm. uh, as you add more malt, you, you tend to get more sweetness. Mm -hmm. Not necessarily, I mean, you can you can dry a malty beer out, right. um, and that usually tends to be more of a snappy malt character, but um, certainly for a style like this, where you've got that spice, you have this expectation that it's gonna have a pumpkin pie-like character, right. you definitely want some malt sweetness there. Um, and I, mean, I, look, I mean, just from an aesthetic standpoint, yeah. outwardly, I mean, it's a beautiful uh, red color, Crystal clear, nice creamy head. This, it's, it's a nice uh, beer. Yeah, they said uh, it's made with the flavor of, uh, and you can see that right down here at the bottom of the screen here because I'm going to put it up. Uh, made here with the flavor of um, vine ripe pumpkin, clove, nutmeg, and allspice uh, is is what they're they're saying in their website. Is that the the magic of television bit? Yeah, right there? here, right here at the bottom here. You're gonna. It's going to slide right in and I'm going to do all that. And you'll probably see it a few other times too throughout you know, these pieces. So. Could we make the pumpkin do something cool? I, no, I'm not that good. CG? I'm good, but I'm not that good. A little pumpkin love? A little pumpkin love. So 
enjoying a little pumpkin love and Harvest Moon, it's actually a very enjoyable beer and it's it's a little bit different than most pumpkin beers that I've had before because I think it's a little, it's unique. Like you said, you're not drinking a pumpkin pie. It's got just a little bit of a different flavor. So if you're used to a pumpkin beer that tastes solely like pumpkin, I'd try this. I mean, I think it's kind of unique. Pleasant. Very pleasant. Well, there you go. Harvest Moon Pumpkin Ale. Uh, I'd say if you can get it at your store, again, as we've said before in the past, if we can get it in Savannah, Georgia, most likely you can get it where you are. So uh, good luck with that. Uh, thanks for uh, joining us in another edition of uh, BeerAmerica.tv. And hey, look, if you've got any beer suggestions, email John or I at uh, Paul at BeerAmerica.tv or Pink at BeerAmerica.tv and tell us what you want to see. And uh, we'll make sure we get it on uh, for you. I mean, it's as simple as that. So, John, cheers. Cheers. Happy pumpkin. Pumpkin love. Pumpkin love. Cheers. Ha <laughs>